I'm going to show you how to put together a set of drawers for an Aquaglow waterbed. Once you've opened up the box, you'll end up with six drawer fronts, you'll end up with six drawer backs, and you'll end up with six drawer bottoms, and you'll have 12 sides, 12 metal sides. And inside here, you'll get a lot of little screws. Brass, 13 mil brass screws, you'll have eight of those per draw, and you'll have four of these flanged screws per draw. So that's what you have when you've opened up the box. I'm just going to show you the pr procedure of putting a drawer together. Firstly, get a, the drawer back, and on the drawer back you'll see outlines drawn and two holes, and that's the back side of the back. So, firstly, you get this, you will need a drill for this, and then this is one side of the drawer, and you line it up with your outlines, like so, just gently tap it into place, then get two of your little brass screws, the 13 mil brass screws, and you screw it into place, into the pre-drilled holes. Nice and gently so you don't over tighten it. There we go. Two in each side. So you, that's one side done. Then you get the other side. Again, you look at the outline there and you tap this into place where the outline is. Like that. That's on the outline. Two more little brass screws. Remember there's eight brass screws per drawer. your draw bottom and there's four holes in your draw bottom one two three four now then that goes in there like that and that eventually rests on the guides here and you should notice that the holes line up perfectly there the holes in the bottom of your draw bottoms will line up to the holes in the metal drawer sides. And again, you'll need four brass screws, 13 mil brass screws, one in each hole. Like that. screw the drawer front on and today I've, I'm using an upholstered drawer front in white faux leather and the way you can tell the top from the bottom of this drawer front is the black backing starts an inch down from the top and the bottom it's quite close to the bottom so that's the bottom of the drawer front once your bed's rested that would be the bottom this would be the top so what you do is you have the top facing you, face down on a table or the floor or where you, wherever you're doing your work. Then you get your drawer, place your drawer on top of the drawer front like so. And you line it up with the holes that are already drilled into your drawer front. Now then, here's where you get the metal the, the screws that uh, have a flange on. 
And what you do then is you screw these into the holes already pre-drilled. See, there. One side done. Turn it round. Line up the holes. There. Again, don't over tighten them. That's your draw for your nightlight or whichever bed you've bought from Aqua Glow that has drawers. There's your draw. Hi, I'm Adam from Aqua Glow Waterbeds, and today I'm going to give you a general guide on how to build a nightlife waterbed. A nightlife waterbed has traditionally got six drawers. You might have two, you might have four. Today I'm going to show you how to do how to install a six-drawer nightlife waterbed. First of all. I'll go through everything that you've got. Number one, unpack everything before you do anything. So you've, you've got it all in your house, take it out of all the cardboard boxes, all the plastic wrapping, and I'll show you what you should have. So once you've opened your box, I'm going to run through what you've got. Here you've got four base runners, four of them. This is the foot end. It's the foot end because it's, it's been upholstered. That's the foot end. The head end, you'll know it's the head end because it's got drawer runners on one side, there, but no drawer runners on the other side. So that's the head end. And the other two in the middle have drawer runners on both sides. These two are the middle bits. I'll show you how it all goes together in a second. Now that's the foot end of your middle bit. There. And you've got two of those. These are the support bars. You'll have two of those. Once you've unwrapped all your bed, you'll see all this. Two of those. And you'll notice on these support bars, it's got four grooves. I'll show you how it all goes together in a second. But uh, the four grooves, you'll notice one groove is a little bit wider than the other three. Notice. See, that one's wider. Now that goes to the foot end. And be careful with these. You might find the odd splinter. Never any, any bother, you know, but just be careful of splinters. Now then, come over here. And these are the decking boards that you'll get. If it's a five foot wide waterbed, you'll end up with a 10 inch piece of decking board in the middle and the rounded off, every decking board's rounded off at the end. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, maybe you can, maybe you can see the little bit of a, a rounded edge uh, there at the, at the ends. That goes down, to faces the, uh, the floor. So that's your middle piece, a 10 inch middle piece. Then you've got two other pieces here. Again, they're all round, they're, they're rounded on the edge, on one edge, all, the, all over. They face down, but you've got two of these pieces, big two foot wide pieces. The corners cut off, they're the corners that point outwards into your room. And you'll notice just there, there's a little hole that becomes apparent after a bit. I'll explain that to you. So that's three decking boards. Uh, if you're buying a six foot wide bed, you'll end up with a wide decking board in the middle, not, not the 10 inch piece, it'll be 22 inch. Uh, if you're buying a double bed, you'll end up with two decking boards and you won't need the, the middle piece. Now then, if you come this way, oh, there's your headboard, by the way, just behind there. Then you've got four foam shoulders here, uh, two two um, width pieces. You'll know the width pieces because they're angled at the end, on one end, on well, on both ends they're angled. The two, uh, they're the two length pieces. The two width pieces are, are simply flat. 
at the end. So that's four of those. There. Then you've got the zip cover. Here we go. Zip cover. I've not unwrapped it yet. I'm not taking it out of the plastic. You'll you'll find 24 of these 25 millimeter long screws. They'll be in the pack. And then come over here, and here's six drawers, all built together. I've shown you how to build those together. There's six of those, and that is pretty much all the water bed. Oh yeah, go oh, down here. You've got a little face that I'll, I'll put on. I'll show you how to put that on in a second. It's only magnetised. You, you clip it on at the end. I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so I'll start now. Firstly, put your headboard where you want your bed to rest. It's final resting place. It's important you get it right. Then get the two base length pieces and stand them next to each other similar to this with the magnetised brackets at the foot end pointing inwards to each other. Then get the head end piece of base with the two draw runners on the inside Now get the two middle pieces with all four draw runners and slide them into the middle grooves like this. Now get the foot end and do the same. Now don't forget when you're putting your bars in, have the rounded edges facing down and all the four grooves want to be facing out into the room, making sure that the groove with the bigger slot is at the foot end. Don't forget to put the groove with the biggest slot at the foot end. Again, those support bars, you want your round edge pointing down to the floor and all the grooves should be pointing out into the room. Here I just put on the, uh, the little magnetised door, just, just push it on like that. You can do that any time to be honest, you don't need to do it right now, you can do it at the end if you wish. Now push your headboard right up against the wall. It's a freestanding headboard, so it's not fixed to anything. It's not fixed to the bed. It isn't fixed to your wall. Just push it right up against the wall, up to the skirting board. Now I'm measuring here. I'm just measuring at the end. See there, the end. It should be seven inch away from your headboard at both sides. Make sure it's six and a half to seven inch. And now I'm just making sure that the bed's the bed base is central to your headboard so that when you do fit it, it's all nicely lined up and centralised. Here I'm just squaring it up. So you put a tape measure on at the head end and run it down to the opposite end at the foot end. And if the two measurements are exactly the same, you know it's dead square and if they're not quite the same you know you need to come one way or the other with the foot end of your bed this one as it happens is pretty square just needs a little tap to the right hand side Now I'm inserting all the drawers 
once I'm sure that the, the base has been centralized and squared up and this is where your bed is gonna stay so try not to knock the base when you're walking around it try not to hit it with the decking boards or move it when you're putting the drawers in that's the third drawer Again, it's a nice tight fit, so you, you, you might just want to make sure that all the little runner wheels, those nylon wheels, do clip into the draw runners on your base. Last one. There. Now then, get your center decking board, the 10 inch decking board, and lie it directly in the middle of your base with the rounded edge pointing down to the floor. And I'm gonna do my best here to get the decking boards exactly half on those two center pieces of your base here i'm trying to show you it's exactly half on both sides so there's half and i'll just push it over in a second but it's it wants to be halfway on on both sides all the way down to the head end it's important you do that because all the decking boards need to be resting on the base half on both sides that's your centerpiece and it wants to be around about an inch to an inch and a half away from your headboard as you can see that is come around this side and show you again from this side about an inch and a half away from your headboard the decking will end up now put the other two big decking boards and lie them down with the rounded side pointing down to the floor So all the decking boards now are resting on top of the base, supported everywhere. And just tap them into position like that and make sure it's a nice smooth edge there. And this is where the holes in the decking boards, this is what they're for. Screw straight down with one of the support bars underneath. they'll be going straight down into the bars. Taking boards fixed into position. Now unzip the top off the casing all the way around, fold up the top and put it to one side so you don't get it dirty. Now find the head end where the zip is. Insert your foam shoulders into the casing 
like this. The head and the foot end go in first, then the two side pieces slot inside the head and foot end. Nice and flush, like that. I'll show you again. Here's how you get it flush. Make sure that both head and foot end uh, match up with the side rails like that. Very flush. You don't want a staggered end. Pull the cover back up. And then just go around the bed like this, pulling the cover so that the zip is along uh, the edge of the foam shoulders all the way around. Pull it up, keep, keep pulling it all the way around. <clears throat> and it's important at this stage as well to make sure that the foam shoulders are covering your decking boards underneath entirely. So if your foam shoulders are overhanging the decking boards one inch at one side, make sure that the, the foam shoulders are overhanging your decking boards one inch at the other side as well. So if they're not overhanging at one side, you know they, you need to push them over to that side. Just creates a nice finish on your bed. Here's where I'm putting all the screws into place, into the battens, the hinged battens. Just trying to show you how to uh, where all the all the screws go. There's five screw holes in each length piece, and there's three in the head and foot end. So you'll use 16 screws altogether at this point. Just put a screw in every hole you see. Again, five in the length pieces and three in the head and foot piece. Now, before you screw them down, take your heater and unwrap it. Read the instructions carefully. Take the heater out of its packaging and lie the pad inside your waterbed like this. Now you might want to tape it down. I'm not taping it down uh, for the purpose of the video, but you can tape that down with a tiny bit of sellotape. Just stick it on the corner. Make sure your heater pad doesn't go over the joints in the decking board. So it's going to be to one side. Doesn't matter which side you put your heater pad. Doesn't matter. Oh, and I've just cut a two inch hole, a two inch slot into the bottom of the cloth. And I'm feeding the wire through that little two inch hole now. So get a Stanley knife and cut a small, make a small incision in the cotton underneath there and feed the wire through that small incision. But take the heater down here Make sure it doesn't go over any joints and once you've taped it down, it'll stay in place when you put in your liner in and your mattress in as well. Here I'm just trying to show you where the wire will come out of. So take your wire out of there and connect your heater up. That little plug unplugs from your control box. I'm showing you with the digital heater today. So some people have the carbon classic heater, some people have the carbon digital heater. They both work the same. So you just push that plug in nice and flush. Make sure you don't push it in at an angle because you might bend the metal pins inside that I've just shown you. So that's in. You could even test it at this point for five seconds, ten seconds. Uh, once you feel the heat from the heater pad, if you plug it in, turn it on, you might feel the heat coming into the heater pad, then unplug it. Do not leave it plugged in. It'll burn out. 
Now I'm just putting the safety liner in. And I should say that I've already screwed the foam into place at this point. I screwed the foam into place after I'd ins inserted the heater pad. You can only screw the foam into place when you've put the heater in. So put the heater in and then screw your foam down. So you just shake the liner into position. The safety liner is grained on one side and it's shiny on the other. Have the grain side up. It's a frictionless liner. So put the grain, the, the rough side up. And with the safety liner, it's a big flat sheet. Um, try and get it as equal as possible all the way around. Make it make sure that the the, uh, the spare liner that's hanging down towards my feet at the moment, uh, it make sure that's equal on both sides and all the way around at the head and the foot end. So if it's hanging down 15 inch, make sure on the other side that's hanging down 15 inches too. Just get it as central as possible and as straight and crease free as possible. I just took the liner into the uh, into the foam there as you can see. I'm just just tucking it in. It just pins it into place. You just feed it into the foam only a little bit. Just keeps the liner in its place while you're inserting the mattress which we'll get to in one second so the liner's pretty much done now I'm just going to show you that the, I measure it and I think that's about 15 inch yours might be 16 or 17 or, or 13 or 12 as long as it's the same all the way around Now put in the mattress. Careful when you come to the mattress uh, with a Stanley knife. If you uh, don't use something sharp, don't use anything sharp to open the box. A blunt object. Take the mattress out of the box and take it out of its bag. Now you might want to leave it to get, let it get to room temperature at this point. If the mattress is cold, because it's been on a, a, a freight carrier, it might be a little cold. So let it get to room temperature before you open it up like I'm doing now. But once it's at room temperature, open it up similar to this, lie it into the well. Get it pretty central. OK, so that's your guide on how to install your nightlife waterbed with six drawers. Um, if you want to know how to fit your mattress and your safety liner and your heater properly, I do advise to read the instructions that come with all the items. Uh, the mattress instructions come with a mattress. The liner instructions will be in with the liner. The heater instructions will be in with the heater. So sit down carefully, uh, carefully read them. Get a good knowledge of what you're, you're, you're doing. Uh, failing that, catch all my uh, videos on YouTube. So that's it. Up to now, all you've got to do from now on is fill the mattress and zip the cotton cover on, and jobs are done. Thanks for watching.